This video will assist you in checking the bearing on your Husqvarna K3000 cut and break. Use your combination spanner to loosen the nut holding the blades in place. You can easily remove the screws and blades with your hands after using the combination tool. Remove the rubber splash cover to get better access when disassembling the unit. Unscrew the nuts and take off the cover. Use your combination tool and a Torx T27 wrench to remove the screw that holds the pulley in place. Remove the pulley and the bar assembly. Unscrew the bolts on the bar cover using an 8mm socket. Then, remove the belt to access the bar and the bearing holder. Place the bar in a vise. This will make it easier to remove the bearing holder. Use the special tool to unscrew the bearing holder from the bar. Use a mallet to remove the threaded ring if it needs to be replaced. Replace the bearing and all the worn out parts. Assemble the ring by pressing it in a hydraulic press or a vise. Replace the old bearing with a new one. Thanks to our special tool, the bearing holder can easily be assembled. When the bearing's been changed, reassemble the bar. Make sure the right side of the pulley is facing out. Tighten the bar and the nuts on the cover. By turning the eccentric plate with the Torx 27 wrench, you tension the belt. Then tighten the center bolt with the combination tool. Check that the belt has correct tensioning. Tighten the rest of the nuts. Refer to your operator's manual for more detailed information about our K3000 cut and break.